Hi everyone. Today in this lesson we are mainly going to discuss about the potential energy in relation to conservative force and after that we will be discussing about the conservation of mechanical energy. So let's discuss about the first one potential energy in relation to conservative force. Just a simple example we'll be discussing here first of all. One body is placed on the surface. Okay. One body is now placed on the surface. The earth surface we can consider as the reference point. Okay. The reference point. If you consider the earth surface is a reference point, we can see here the potential energy at the reference point is equal to zero. The potential energy is equal to zero. We have already discussed about the gravitational potential energy in the last class. U is equal to mgh, right? Now what we are going to do here, you are going to raise this object to a particular height. What you are going to do here, you are raising this object. Raising means what? Definitely we should do a work or we have to apply a force here. So in this case, you can see here, this is the case, the body is now raised. So we have to apply a force upward at the same time there will be a force which is acting downward that is equal to mg okay now what is the displacement direction the displacement direction is upward you say it as x is the displacement so when you are raising this object from the surface to this point we can consider this till this much point we can consider that is the height h the raised one h so in this consideration, we can say here x is equal to h. So what we are going to calculate here, what is the work done due to force of gravity? Okay, work done due to force of gravity, not by the applied force. So we can say here force due to gravity is acting vertically downward, right? So what is the work done due to gravity? Wg is equal to, what is the general equation? Force applied force or gravity force gravity force so we can say here fg vector dot displacement vector here we have taken the displacement is x so we can write here x vector now if you substitute the value you see what is the force due to gravity acting vertically downward where the displacement is acting along board upward direction so what is the angle between the mg and h value or the displacement value which is equal to theta is equal to what 180 degree so work done due to gravity wg is equal to fg into x into cos 180 as you already know cos 180 which is equal to minus 1 and we can substitute the value here wg is equal to now what is fg from this diagram we can say here force due to gravity fg is equal to mg right so we can write here what mg now how much it is displaced we have generally we have written the x value so it is displaced by a particular height vertical height is what h now what is the cos 180 minus 1 so what is the work done due to the force of gravity we can say here minus mgh what is that minus mgh now look at the other condition here what is the change in potential energy in this case we are writing here delta u what is the change in potential energy? The final potential energy minus initial potential energy. Okay. Final potential energy minus initial potential energy. So we can write here delta U is equal to what is the final potential energy? Final potential energy when the object is raised at a height h value, right? That is equal to what? MGH. So we can write here MGH minus what is the initial potential energy we can see here from the diagram at the reference point the potential energy is equal to zero right so we can substitute here potential energy initially it was zero so change in potential energy is equal to mgh now what is the work done formula work done due to force of gravity say wg is equal to minus of mgh mgh is equal to delta u right so what is the concluding point here work done due to force of gravity wg is equal to you see this one mgh is equal to delta u minus of delta u so this is the one of the important conclusion what we are discussing today here when the conservative force does the work 
as you already know what is a conservative force when the conservative force does the work on a particle in a system right delta u of the system you can see the equation here delta u of the system which is equal to what negative of the work done negative of the work done by the conservative force so we can write like this word delta u is equal to minus of w g correct and vice versa you can write down here so what is the concluding point here when the conservative force does the work on a particle delta u of the system that is change in potential energy of the system will be equal to what negative of the work done by the conservative force okay we have now derived here formula connecting board change in potential energy is equal to minus of wg now we have to discuss another relation here about potential energy in relation to conservative force okay so same example we can consider here now you consider you are applying a force on the body and it is displacing a very small amount so we can say here the small work done dw is equal to minus of du instead of delta u we can write here about du and we are considering here small work is done so what is dw the formula we can see here force into displacement here right now here the force is conservative force so i can write here about f conservative into displacement you consider the displacement is equal to small h okay so we can say here dh which is equal to minus of du correct now from this equation we can write here f conservative or simply we can write the f here f conservative is equal to what minus of du divided by dh minus of du divided by dh so this is another relation here what conservative force is applied then the conservative force can be defined as what negative gradient of potential energy this is called what negative gradient negative gradient of potential energy which is equal to the conservative force now if you write this equation once again f conservative is equal to minus d by dh of what is the potential energy formula mgh value right here the variable is h so we can write here minus mg can be taken outside now we can write the d by dh of h value correct d by dh of h is equal to 1 so we can write here word f conservative okay f conservative which is equal to minus of mg okay minus of mg so what we have discussed here the gravitation force is equal to in this case we are consider f conservative is gravitational force right so the gravitational force in this example is a negative gradient of potential energy here what is the meaning of negative here negative represents what the gravitational force acts always downward the gravitational force is acting what downward so i hope it is clear what is talking about the potential energy in relation to conservative force now you just think about if you are drawing a potential energy and the displacement curve okay the potential energy curve next case potential energy curve so we are drawing a graph which is connecting potential energy and displacement you see this one this is the x is the displacement and u is the potential energy which is acting along the y axis if the graph we are drawing like this this is one this is a graph connecting here okay it is varying potential energy is in this case it is varying you see the potential energy is varying in this example you can consider maybe you can consider the points here this is the point a and this is the point b and this is the point c and this is the point d and this is the point e what is actually happening in the first case here okay you can see at the point a at the point a what is the slope what is the slope at the point a here the slope is equal to negative slope it is what is that negative slope where what is slope here slope is equal to u by x or we can simply write it as what delta u divided by delta x so slope itself it is negative so in this case what is the force formula 
if the force is conservative right so force is equal to minus delta u by delta x or simply du by dx here slope itself it is negative so what is the force become here the force become positive okay so slope at the point a is negative so their force is what positive so force is positive means what what type of force will be acting the that is the repulsive force now look at the point b here okay consider the point b at the point b what is the slope is equal to at the point b slope is equal to zero so as we already know f is equal to minus delta u by delta x here the slope is equal to zero means what will come here force is equal to zero so in this case force is equal to zero so at this case you are considering the point b the point b is an example for which equilibrium that is called what stable equilibrium the condition for here stable equilibrium what is meant by stable equilibrium when a particle is displaced slightly from a position okay when a particle is displaced slightly from a position and a force acting on it brings it back to the initial position what is happening the you are uh, applying a force on the body it is displacing slightly okay from the initial position and a force acting on it it brings back to the initial position in that case we can say that that body is in stable equilibrium okay just an example this is a graph only in this example just imagine the point is the or object is there at the point b okay an object okay and if you just push that object if you consider this as a well okay a small well we are considering if the object is now slightly pushed it will go up definitely it will come back again and come to the point b itself so this is an example for word stable equilibrium now you consider point c at point c what is the slope at the point c at the point c what is the slope at the point c slope is equal to what negative or positive definitely we can say here positive slope if slope is positive at the point c this is a point c here okay if slope is positive we can say that force become negative force become negative force become negative means what the force acting is attractive force once again you consider the point d here point d you can see at the point d again the slope is equal to zero slope is equal to zero slope is equal to zero means what we can say here the force is equal to which force the conservative force okay don't be confused with the applied force conservative force so f is equal to zero in this case at the point d here we can consider the body we can say that it is in unstable equilibrium okay unstable equilibrium just imagine the body is placed on a hill like structure here okay it's not a graph we are talking about it's just like a hill if you apply a force on the body kept on the point d what may happen the due to the force acting on the body it may slide downward in this direction or it may go in this direction it will never come back to the uh, original position right so what is meant by unstable if particle is displaced slightly from the position and force acting on it tries to displace the particle further away from the equilibrium further away from the equilibrium position and that we can say that word unstable equilibrium so the point d we can consider as word an unstable equilibrium unstable equilibrium now one more equilibrium maybe we, we have to discuss that is a neutral equilibrium what is meant by neutral equilibrium at the neutral equilibrium potential energy is constant value potential energy is a constant value when the particle displaces from the position okay when the particle is displacing from the position does not experience any force acting on it and it continues in equilibrium in the displaced position so when you are applying a force the body may move but the body will continue in that equilibrium when it is displaced here so that is called what neutral equilibrium so mainly we have to discuss about the stable equilibrium and unstable equilibrium so these all things are related to what the potential energy in relation to what conservative force okay now let's discuss about 
let's discuss about the conservation of mechanical energy conservation of mechanical energy so we are discussing about the first point we are discuss here about if only conservative force acting on a body or if only conservative forces are doing work on a body then its total mechanical energy remains constant so what is the definition here if only conservative conservative forces are doing work on a body okay are doing work on a body what we can say that then its total mechanical energy total mechanical energy what is meant by mechanical energy as you already know kinetic energy plus potential energy is called mechanical energy right remains constant remains constant this is the definition for what conservation of mechanical energy okay just an example we can consider suppose a body undergoes a displacement delta x under the action of conservative force correct when a body undergoes a displacement delta x under the action of conservative force we have already learned about the work energy theorem right what is the work energy theorem according to work energy theorem change in kinetic energy is equal to work done right work done in this case what we have discussed now uh force fx conservative force into it is displaced by a small amount delta x so change in kinetic energy is equal to fx delta x now we have already discussed about here what if the force is conservative if the force is conservative what is the relation we have discussed here work done is equal to what is that work done is equal to minus of delta u right we have just now discussed or we can say that delta u is equal to minus of w anyway we can write now so what is the work done here work done is equal to change in kinetic energy according to work energy theorem change in kinetic energy is equal to what fx delta x so we can write here what f into delta x which is equal to minus delta u which is equal to minus delta u or we can say here delta k is equal to minus delta u or once again we can write here word delta k plus delta u is equal to zero or delta of change in k plus u is equal to zero if you consider differentiation or derivative derivative of a constant is equal to zero no so derivative of k plus u is equal to zero or delta of k plus u equal to zero means what is the meaning k plus u is equal to a constant k plus u is equal to constant that mean kinetic energy plus potential energy which is equal to a constant value now look back to the definition once again if only conservative forces are acting on the body or if only the conservative forces are doing work on a body then its total mechanical energy what is that total mechanical energy remains constant what is the total mechanical energy kinetic energy plus potential energy which is equal to a constant value so we can conclude here word kinetic energy initial plus potential energy initial is equal to kinetic energy final plus potential energy final that means the total mechanical energy always a constant value always a constant value so this is talking about what conservation of mechanical energy now the continuation we are doing here conservation of mechanical energy for a freely falling body for a freely falling body so this is the case we are discussing here imagine this is the earth surface okay a body and this this imagine this is the earth surface and you consider this is the reference point this is the reference point imagine a body is now at position a so this is the position a okay this is the at position a if the body is coming down 
if the body is coming down definitely you can see here the position keep on changing and its energy also changes its energy also changes when it is at a particular height h say it as initially the object is at a position a from the ground the height is equal to h value after some time if it is released the body will come down and you just imagine from the position a this is a position b the displaced value you can see here this is the x value and after some time definitely we can say here the body will just reach the ground say it as the position c here so now we have to prove here what is the conservation of mechanical energy for that at position a we will be discussing the first case at position a what is the energy at position a what is the energy as we already know according to conservation of mechanical energy what is that total energy total energy means what kinetic energy plus potential energy will be always a constant value that's what we are going to prove here when the object is at a particular height h what is the potential energy we can say that potential energy is equal to mgh and what is the kinetic energy at that particular height definitely we can say that it is equal to zero so what is the total energy at the position a sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy if you add these two value you will be getting the total energy is equal to mgh clear now look back to the position b at position b the object is now coming to position b what all energy it possess just imagine the body is now coming down okay it is not stopping at the position b it is now coming down so it possess both the kinetic energy and potential energy so at the position b we can say here what is the kinetic energy say kinetic energy is equal to what half into m mass of the body into speed what is the speed you say it as vb when the object is reached at the point b say it as vb square okay so half mb square kinetic energy now we can substitute here what is vb so we can calculate the vb using the equations of motion it's a uniformly accelerated motion right so we can write here vb square is equal to u square minus 2gx the displacement is 2gx so what is a vb square vb square is equal to see what is u u is zero right and g we can take it here minus already taken and x is also become negative so what we can write here vb square is equal to 2gx or we can substitute here kinetic energy is equal to half into m into vb square vb square means what 2gx right so 2 2 will cancel so what is the kinetic energy at that point that is equal to mgx so at the position b kinetic energy we have marked here that is equal to mgx now let's now let's calculate here what is the potential energy potential energy is equal to you see what is the height now the object b object at the position b from the ground you can see here total is h and it is displaced x here so what is the height here h minus x so we can write here potential energy is equal to mg into h minus x therefore what is the total energy at the position b at the position b kinetic energy is mgx plus potential energy is equal to mg into h minus x so mgx mgx will cancel remaining one is what e is equal to mgh so once again what we are proving here at the position b is having two energy that is kinetic energy and potential energy but the total energy is equal to what constant that is equal to what mgh now once again let's find the energy at the position c okay now you can see the picture there suppose the body is finally reaches from a to c on the ground right so we can write here what is the kinetic energy at that moment kinetic energy is equal to half into m into vc square the velocity or the speed at the point c correct then considering the motion from a to c okay a to c we can calculate the vc square is equal to 
u square minus 2gh it become what plus 2gh because minus h and minus g become plus value u is equal to 0 so what is the vc square here vc square is equal to Two G H, so we can calculate here the kinetic energy at the position C, half into m into V C square. What is V C square here? Two G H. Here two two will cancel. So what is the total kinetic energy which is equal to m G H? And of course you as you already know potential energy at the surface is equal to what zero. Therefore total energy is equal to m G H. So, in this example, you can see here at a different position, it is having different energies. Kinetic energy and potential energies are varying, but the total energy is what remains constant. Total energy remains constant. And this is what we are talking about, what conservation of mechanical energy. Now, let's discuss about a graph. Okay, a graph we are drawing here, a graph connecting what the height and the energy. The height is changing in this case and uh, energy is also changing okay so if you draw the potential energy and the kinetic energy as we already know the total energy will be always constant value now from the origin so this is the origin from the origin what is happening to the potential energy potential energy is gradually increasing you can see potential energy increases at a particular height height increases potential energy increases so this blue color line represents what the graph for potential energy now if you draw the graph for kinetic energy what is happening when the height increases the height increases that means the kinetic energy is decreases right kinetic energy is now decreases so we can draw the line from here towards this point okay but in each and every point you can consider at each and every point the total energy remains constant that is this uh, straight line represents what total energy remains constant at every point even though kinetic energy and the potential energy changes okay so we have just now discussed about what conservation of mechanical energy for a freely falling body i hope you understood this topic thank you all of you